Obviously, Montreal's not had a good year. I mean, they came close to winning the, the CONCACAF Champions League, but since Didier Drogba has been signed and playing, they seem to be a much different side. How do you have to compensate against this team on, when they have the ball offensively? Yeah, he's obviously a handful. Um, World-class player. He's done it at the highest level for a really long time, so he makes their team a lot better, and he's a guy that's a difference maker. So we've uh, we've seen a couple, you know, a couple highlights of him. We know what his uh, capabilities are. We know what his strengths are, his weaknesses. Um, you know, he's uh, he's really changed the dynamic of that team. So I think they're a confident team. They're a very talented team. I think individually, position by position, they're one of the more talented teams in the league. Um, obviously, the schedule has been a bit weird with them being in CONCACAF, so they haven't really been able to get much of a rhythm in the MLS this year, and now their sole focus is on uh, making the playoffs, and we're in their way, so they're, they're still fighting to make the playoffs. It's no guarantee that they get in, so you have guys like Drogba and Piatti and um, you know Duca, all these dangerous players that they have that are going to be difference makers, and we have to be aware of all of them, but Drogba's the key. Physically, he's a handful. Our center backs are going to have their hands full. He loves physical contact. He loves being involved in the play. He's good on crosses. He's good in their build-up play in possession. So he's definitely a main focus point for us defensively. And Sean Wright Phillips has played with him on Chelsea, and of course against him was with Manchester City. Has he given you any pointers about how to handle him, or he just says just go ahead and try it? Not, not yet. I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit more. But no, he hasn't. Uh, he hasn't said anything about it. But I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty obvious the uh, quality that Drogba has. I don't need Sean to tell me any secret advice. I can see it for myself when I watch him play. Now, um, going back to the supporter shell for a moment, if the team were to win, you would be the one who would be the first to lift the trophy. Have you thought about that at all, what that honor might be, what that moment might be like, where it might be? Uh, specifically, no. Um, I think as a captain, it's it's gone through my head to lift some sort of silverware for the team and how good of a feeling it would be. but. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still have a long way to go. Um, if that happens, uh, I know that it will certainly be a point of pride for me and, and obviously a point of pride for the whole organization, just being able to bring something home. But like I said before, I don't want to sound too uh, boring. You guys know me. I'm always good for a good quote. But <laughs> the focus has to just be on the next game and, and putting ourselves in the best position possible to have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. And then if we win the Supporter Shield, that's just going to be another uh, another trophy to put in the cabinet and, and something that, to be proud of. But we're not even close to there yet. So you haven't, pra you haven't practiced lifting the shield over your head? Nope, not yet. The closest thing is just lifting up my dog, kind of like <laughs> Lion King style, but haven't practiced lifting a trophy yet. To go back to the game this week, what, what do you think Dilly Duca could bring to this team and how do you plan on dealing with that? Yeah, he's a really talented player. I'm a big fan of his, actually. I think he's, uh, he's a guy that's kind of flown under the radar in terms of um, you know, how, much, uh, how dangerous he is and how much he means to that team. He's, uh, he's a dangerous player, uh, really shifty, really quick, uh, good with the ball at his feet. He's, uh, he's a different dynamic um, that we have to be aware of. So. Um, I think he's from this area, so I know a lot of a lot of people know about him. So we, we have a lot of respect for their players, not just him, a lot of their their wingers, some of the best in the league, Justin Mapp, uh, Romero. Um, you know, they have a lot of dangerous weapons, and Duca's just another one of them. So it's going to be a tough night for us defensively. We're going to have to have all hands on deck. Midfield, the the front four, is everyone's going to have to be tuned in. Um, we did a good job of limiting their space and their chances in Montreal, and now uh, we're not quite sure how they're going to play, but one would assume they're going to try to counterattack us in the, in, along the lines of Orlando. So it's just going to be a full team effort. We have to make sure that we, uh, we don't give those guys a lot of space because they can punish you.